Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit a solar flare, CME eruption, a potential grazing impact to Earth, plasma filaments, sunspots, a tropical system that is forecast to be very rough, and an excellent study on solar forcing of weather. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. It was a largely calm day. We did take one M-class solar flare from the southern incoming sunspots, and just a bit ago here this morning, the northernmost plasma filament erupted. Still several more of those on the disk to monitor. The flare occurred at the incoming limb on the south. It created a fairly tight ejection vector for plasma to helically leave the corona. You're seeing that here zoomed in on the flare and eruption zone. Now it's not going to be anything scary, but we may take a light glancing blow from the CME based on the partial halo. It would be from the wide burst component surrounding the core of the plasma ejection. Now, while it's on its way to our planet, we'll be monitoring the remainder of the plasma filaments, slight destabilization marks seen in a few of them this morning. We'll be watching those very closely, and also the sunspots. While they don't look too big or magnetically complex, one of them already fired that M-flare and CME, and at the limb, fairly gnarly looking active region is cresting into view now. We'll keep watching all of that. But up next, we're going to the Caribbean. While minor tropical systems spin south of Mexico and close to Hawaii, this is the big concern. It has a lot of fuel, and over the next couple days will come north and may hit hurricane status before slamming into the U.S. coastline. Over the next few days, its track forecast will tighten up, so let's keep a close eye here. Top science article today looks at when the weather got so bad it impacted dynasties. They found that the worst and least predictable conditions match up with sunspot minima, especially grand minima, via both direct forcing and indirect influence through sea surface temperatures. Once again, it's the sun. Folks, the Observer Review special release at the end of the month will be a Q&A video. If you are a member of our e-magazine, send in your questions. The video will be sent out to all of you on October 1st. You guys can sign up at the link below. And don't forget, there are lots of events going on at Observer Ranch, including my 40th birthday on October 19th. Come see us in person, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.